Hey guys, Mr. Everything here, back with another movie review video, and in today's video, we're going to be reviewing Star Wars The Last Jedi. Alright, so this review will probably be going up on Saturday, December 16th. I actually saw Star Wars The Last Jedi on Friday, December 15th, the day it came out. I saw a pretty decently early showing of it. I saw a 5, uh, 5.20, 5.30 showing of it, but you guys already know, previews are like 15 minutes long. The film is 2 hours and 30 minutes long, so by the time I got out, it was already 8 o'clock ish nine o'clock and I didn't go straight home so when I got home it was like 11 o'clock and I was gonna try to force a review in but you know I didn't really want to force it and I'm actually glad I didn't because I actually heard this in a lot of reviews you know oh the last Jedi will break you down or yeah oh yeah this film it, it, when it ends it's, it's truly tough you it takes a lot of time to think about it, it takes you time to think about um you know your ranking of the Star Wars films and those reviews are right it, it truly does when you come out of this film Man, you're going to be conflicted. You're not going to have a right or wrong answer. You, you, you don't really know if you like or love this film. It truly does take some time to think about it. It's, it's, at least for me, it was. It took me some time to think about it. So I'm glad I got, you know, like a day to think about it. Uh, but yeah, I guess starting off. I mean, you got the cast, the uh, you know the new returning cast. You have uh, Daisy Ridley who plays Ray, Adam Driver who plays Kylo Ren, John Boyega who plays Finn, Os obviously Oscar Isaac who plays Poe Dameron. You have some new characters. Uh, Benicio del Toro he plays DJ, and um, he's actually one of my negatives. But hey, I'll get onto that later. And you have Kelly Mo Kelly Marie Tran and she plays Rose Tico, and I really liked her character. She was also a new character. And you have Laura Dern and she. Plays plays like a another resistance leader uh sort of like a, a replacement for uh general leia but uh, i'll get uh i mean her character i thought i thought she was okay uh i mean she has purple hair which i mean i i, I don't know she has purple hair I mean, it's not like a negative but it's just like i, I don't know like it's just kind of off-putting like why do you have purple hair but either way i thought her character was cool you know i didn't hate her character or anything uh, I thought she kind of played like a cool little antagonist for Poe Dameron. That was pretty cool. I'm not going to go into uh, specifics there. Uh, but, yeah, I thought she was cool. But, yeah, Rose Tico, she's like a uh, sort of the new uh, love interest for Finn. And they also go on their little separate storyline together on this, like, other planet. And I actually heard this in a lot of reviews going in that, oh, their whole storyline, it, it drags down the film. And, man, I can't help to agree with those critics. That whole period, it, it's like a whole 30, 40 minutes minute period where it's just Finn and Rose Tico uh just together and it's just like I don't really care about this and it really does drag and slow down the film and I wish they cut that whole portion out of it but hey it's in the film you can't really stop it and that's also one of my negatives but I guess continuing on with the cast obviously you have the original returning cast so you have uh General Leia played by Carrie Fisher rest in peace um this is this is her final performance unless she did shoot some other film after Star Wars but I don't believe she did because she's not really known for acting she's more known for her writing and this and I'm not gonna lie I pretty much only know Carrie Fisher from Star Wars I'm not gonna lie I don't know her from any other film and so yeah me personally this is probably the greatest performance she's given as General Leia and as any character she's played because like I said I only really know her from Star Wars because she plays such a great emotional uh, you know just role in this film obviously she has more to do I think her acting truly improved in this film I'm not gonna lie the Force Awakens it was really rusty it was really rusty it was it was kind of wooden some of the lines she uh gave off especially talking to Han Solo but hey that was her basically returning to acting so you can't really blame her uh but yeah I thought she was great I thought her character was great and um I guess continuing on with that you have uh Luke Skywalker Played by Mark Hamill. Man, Mark Hamill, he's great. I mean, I also heard this in a lot of reviews going in. Mark Hamill, oh, he gives his greatest performance as Luke Skywalker. And he truly does. He gives a great performance. It is just, I think it's one of his greatest. Like, uh, he just plays such a different Luke Skywalker, though, that I could see why people are going to be mixed on it. And me personally, I was mixed with a couple of the character choices that Luke Skywalker gave in this film. I'm not going to say I agree with every character choice. This is a different Luke Skywalker from the one we know from the, you know, original Star Wars trilogy, etc. 
And this is a different Luke Skywalker, but I do get where his character's coming from. He's more older, obviously, uh, weary, you know, darkened. You know, he's trying to get rid of the past, you know, Jedi and Sith. He wants to get away from that, which is essentially why he's on this island, which isn't a spoiler. But he's essentially on this island so he could die, so he could die alone, so he could just get away from it. He just wants to die in peace. He doesn't want to be with Jedi and Sith and battling back and forth. Uh, lightsabers training people, which is sort of the reason why he's denying Ray. You know, obviously Ray, she, she, you know, you hear her saying the trailer, "I need someone to show me my place in all this. I need someone to help me. I need someone to train me." And he basically says, "No." Uh, you also hear him saying the trailer, "Like I've seen raw strength like this before. It did scare me uh, then, but it scares me now because he trained Kylo and he sees how that turned out." Obviously, with him turned to the dark side, so he's like, I'm not about to train another person, so another person could betray me and almost kill me and turn to the dark side. But, I mean, yeah, I truly, I, I enjoy his performance. I love that character development, and he does change as a character throughout the film. The character that he is at the beginning of the film, he is different from the character that he ends in the film, and I truly enjoy that. So, great performance by Mark Hamill. And I guess, uh, uh continuing on with my positives, you know, the action was cool. I like the space battles and stuff like that. Like I said, with the characters, uh, you know, I can't really go into any more specifics though, because obviously that would get into spoilers. But uh, I guess jumping into my negatives. Not that I don't have any more positives, but guys, most of you guys are going to see this film this weekend anyway. Uh, so it really doesn't matter what I say, but just enjoy the film. And I would say one of the positives is, you know, this film it does not go the way you think. Mark Hamill and the director have even said that Luke Skywalker says that in the trailer. He says in the film also, this is not going to go the way you think. And it truly doesn't. It goes in so many, everything you think is going to happen, it goes the other direction. And a lot of times it does feel like, okay, wow, what are you, what are you just being different just to be different? And it does feel like that a couple times. But a lot of times, specifically with the character Poe Dameron, uh, you basically follow him throughout the story. And I really enjoyed uh, um Oscar Isaac's role in this film as Paul Dameron, you know, you basically are on his side, but at the end of the film, you you come to realization, hey, he was actually wrong. I'm not going to go into the specifics. I'll go into that in my spoiler review, which, by the way, will be my first spoiler review ever on this channel. And, of course, you got to do it with Star Wars, but I'll get on to that later. Uh, but, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in this film where it's like it doesn't go the way you think. And, yet again, a lot of it is like, okay, what are you guys just forcefully trying to say? Oh, all your theories and stuff don't matter. But sometimes it's like, hey, this makes sense. It's not gonna, it doesn't have to always go the way we think, which I enjoyed that. But I guess jumping into my negatives, like I said, guys, the whole Finn and Rose Tico storyline, they go on this other planet doing this whole side story. I just thought this just kind of dragged on too long. It was just kind of boring. And the DJ character, he kind of, he just plays a character in this film. Uh, I just enjoy his character. I mean, he kind of has like this stutter going on, which I don't have anything against people that have stutters, by the way. But I mean, just his whole thing was just, he just kind of got annoying at a point. I don't know. I, I just didn't like him as a character. I, I'm sorry. I just didn't like him. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it for my uh, review for The Last Jedi. Be sure to go check this film out, obviously. Like I said, most of you guys are going to see this anyway, so this review doesn't really matter. But hey, check out my spoiler review. I'm either going to be uploading that later today or probably Sunday, just so I can give you, give you guys time to see it. But yeah, it will be my first spoiler review on this channel. If you guys check out my channel, I have no spoiler reviews for any movie on this channel. And I thought, hey... This is a perfect film to do my first spoiler review. Obviously, Star Wars The Last Jedi. There is a lot of spoilers, spoilers in this film. So, yeah, I'm going to be uh, doing my first spoiler review for Star Wars The Last Jedi. So, expect that sometime this weekend, either later today or on Sunday. And also, hey, be sure to check out all my other movie review videos, obviously. But, hey, I also did a review for another Daisy Ridley film, or a film starring Daisy Ridley. It's called Murder on the Orient Express. I did a review for that. Uh, I did. I thought the film was okay, but I thought that review was one of my best reviews I've ever did. So be sure to check that review out for Murder on the Orient Express. And obviously, be sure to check out all my other uh, movie reviews, uh, Star Wars videos I did on this channel. And be sure to check out for that spoiler review later on this weekend. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great rest of your day. All right, bye, guys.